winning Eurovision, uh, I think it's a big moment for you, I hope. <laughs> uh, what did you feel when uh, you won and uh, how has it changed your art and your person? Wow, I think, I think the whole process of, um, you know, started, st started out with writing the song and, you know, like just having this very, for me, important moment in the studio when I realized like, wow, this is actually exactly the level of creativity and the level of just freedom that I want to experience with my music and that I want to continue to do so. So I think that was the first moment I was like, wow, that's already changed a lot in how I view creating and uh, just yeah, writing songs. And then the whole process of Eurovision has just been really beautiful in the way that I feel like a lot of people um, just had so much love to give for, for the music, but also for me as a person and to realize that there's so many people out there that just accept me for who I am and, and support me. I think that's really like just been so good for just my general well-being and, and, and also confidence in, in creating, but also just in, in myself. Um, and I think that all coming together has just been a very unbelievably beautiful experience for me. You know, it's uh, first of all a, a huge honor that um, I just got to rep represent this beautiful community that is just like, for me it feels like a big family, you know, like even though like so many different people are queer, like what really um, puts us together and what really ties us together is that we're all queer and that's kind of feels like like a, a family in a way and I think that was just a huge honor to get to represent that in my own way you know together with other uh, queer artists at this year's Eurovision um, and I think it's just important to remember that at the end of the day I'm just I'm just a human being like every other human being in this world uh, with my imperfections and 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 I think it's important to remember that um, and also for people to remember at home you know like when they either put you on a pedestal and say like oh you're this huge role model which is which is really nice but at the end of the day I'm just the same person they are in a way you know and and that also goes to the other side I feel like people who carry a lot of hate towards people they don't know. It's like the question, like, you, you don't even really know me. Like, we could have, like, a conversation together somewhere and we would get to know each other and get to like each other. It's just important to remember that at the end of the day, it's a lot of it is just um, also projection, I would say. What do you think? Will your, your vision win help people who are bullied and criticized uh, because of their different views and, and identity? Definitely, yeah, definitely. I, I really believe so, and I've I've experienced it myself. You know, like growing up, like especially like as a teenager, um, you know, like when you're in your most insecure phase of your life. I would say for me that was the case. Going into school and like experiencing like bullying and like not fitting in, compared to now that I one really beautiful moment was like coming home to my hometown and seeing that there were so many young people, so many people that were in my age when I was in school and I got bullied that just proudly came to this moment and supported it and weren't afraid to share their love for um, for a queer artist. And I think, I think that is already like such a testament that times have changed and I, I think they continue to change and I think visibility is just um, such an important aspect of change you know like the more visible um, a certain community is the more people get to talk about it and people get to learn about it and um, yeah that's a, that's an important aspect I would say I feel like just being being exposed in this way um, that you are when you're like 
a public figure um, or you become a public figure, I think that is so far from reality as I've experienced it up until now. It just leads to overwhelming feelings. Um, but I'm like, most of the time it's, I'm having so many like pleasant interactions and I, I get to feel so much love from people. And I have an amazing like community around me um, that is very supportive, like my family, friends, um, they've been supportive from day one, you know, like it's not tied to any success or any um, kind of um, expectation towards me, which I think really helps to balance things out. I hope I can like stay vulnerable and stay honest in my music because I think through vulnerability and, and authenticity, you just open up such a beautiful window for people to truly see you, you know, and I hope people will remember me as close as possible to how I felt in, in the times I released songs, you know. If I manage to put out songs that feel true to myself uh, in the given time period I release them and people have like an have a window into how it felt to be me and see the world through my eyes. Um, I think that's, that's what I want to achieve. And I think through that, like, you know, like when you, when you share your window and your, the way you view things, I think it's sometimes the most effective way to make people think about their lives as well. I think I mostly just want to be honest and vulnerable and talk about things that really matter to me. Um, I think I wouldn't just want to write a song that has that carries no meaning for me in any way. I think I, I just need to feel like I actually want to say something with every song and that's um, that's important to me. Even if it's like something small, I think as long as I'm writing the songs and I'm um, I'm getting the chance to talk about my experience in the world, that, that will be the, the case, yeah. I feel like in a lot of ways, music, for me, takes up so much of my personal life that it's sometimes hard to like differentiate what is what. I think that's something I want to work on, you know, like make space, make enough space for my personal life as well. And to really realize that these are two things that, um, don't have to be tied in together all the time. I think, I think in music, um, my next goals are to just really, really focus on on live music, get better at performing. You know, it's something I I love to do. Um, like, just the whole concept of my live performance, like to refine it and work towards the Europe tour next year, where we're also coming <laughs> uh, uh, here to Latvia, uh, which is really exciting. Um, I think that gives me a lot of time to prepare and, and focus on that aspect and also to just continuously write songs that mean a lot to me and share them with the world. Uh, I can't wait to release my next, uh, my next song. It's going to happen soon. I cannot say more, but I think that there's a lot of things and, and it's, very, it's a very exciting time in that sense. I'm, I'm very happy, yeah, I'm like what I've gotten to experience like over the last couple of months is more than I could ever, ever dream. I think what has happened is um, I've learned not to be afraid to open up and to be myself and that has given me just a lot of strength and it's brought me to the right people. Like. When I think about my community, uh, my friends, um, but also the people that listen to my music, I think I'm really in a place where I'm surrounded by the right people. And that's what makes me the happiest. <laughs>